Hello everybody, it is Pampered Pets here and I am doing today a so foot let's tour. get started. Work from the top down and you can see that in the top they have these two doors that just open by this latch and so does the other one as well. Um, but also the roof lifts up means it's even easier to get to them and it's held up by this metal support. And you can see that we are just going to start off in this little area. And you can see that we have butterscotch in here. And um, in here they have a wood roll. I think it's from the Woodlands range. It's from Pets at Home now. Um, and then they also have their food bowl and nuggets. The food bowl is from Mason and Cash and says Guinea Pig. And the nuggets are the Pets at Home nuggets. They are bedded on wood shavings in here and then we are going to move through into the second part. So in here you can see that we have a water bottle and a corn attached to the bars. And um, then next to um, here we have the ramp and a hatch that shuts it. And the hut holds this so up. We are now going to move downstairs to the downstairs part of their hut. And you can see that again, it has two compartments, like so. And there's just midnight in there. This one is already open because they are in their rent today. But in here, um, there isn't a lot because I wanted them to have quite a lot of space to run around in, even though it's not that big of an area. So you can see the ramp here leading down. And we have midnight demonstrating how he sits on the wood shavings. But they have a heart chew toy which can roll around and chew, which I made for them. And then they have two of these little hay balls, um, which I also made for them. And you can see the other one just through there. Oh no. <laughs> um, and that is pretty much everything downstairs. Next, I'm moving on to the run area. So the run is very big and spacious, as you can see and there is just a little ramp leading out of here. Are you going to show us how you use the ramp? Oh. No. <laughs> and they just have a little tunnel in here. Um, they also have a little blue pig glue and I don't think there's any piggies in the run at the moment. This is just quite a big area for them to run around in and as you can see there is just a green waterproof top to it to stop anything from getting in which is great for them and it's just metal run like this. And now I thought I would talk to you about why we got the guinea pigs a new hut even though they already had the old one which I will show you in a minute. There were lots of reasons that um, we got them a new run, but the three main reasons were that um, the hutch, I felt, was unsafe because we move it across the lawn a lot and the roof nearly came across it off in our hands, so that wasn't safe at all. And I don't want my pigs living in something like that. Um, the second reason was that I felt that the hutch wasn't big enough anymore because my guinea pigs are both quite big now and they need lots of space. The third and final reason was that there were earwigs living in there which can't be very nice to live with because I wouldn't like to live with earwigs. Um, but there was kind of a fourth reason um, but that's just because this hutch is so like I really like it, it's really pretty in the way of guinea pig hutches um, but it was £70 off the internet which is not bad for a guinea pig hutch when you look at the prices of some of them that are of a similar quality because this hutch I think is very good quality um, but the pigs love it in here um, their run actually was £30 but I bought that some time ago before the hutch came um, but that's everything and I will see you next time guys bye